Jin, and today I start with the excitement. And the excitement is the new Philadelphia's Cooking Cream. I am so excited to start using this because what I've done is taken some of my favorite recipes and I've made them using the cooking cream and I am shocked at how incredibly easy and versatile this is and you are going to be too. And what I've done today is taken a favorite tenderloin medallion of pork recipe and I call it Luigi's Medallion Porks because when I use this cream, this is the Italian cheese and herb, I think there's some little chef building Luigi right here in this container, right in your fridge, because he must have balanced the spices right. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this today. I'm going to start with about a pound of pork. Now this can be any kind of pork that you really like best. Tenderloin, pork butt, any kind of pork steak, and I've cut it into cubes about one inch. Now, the beauty of this recipe is you can use whatever meats that you want to use. You might have around the house. You put it in the pan, about a pound, and just going to start to brown them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon, not a lot. And I'm going to fry these on both sides about two minutes just giving them a nice brown edge. That's the thing about this cooking cream. That's so amazing. You can take your own recipes and add the cooking cream and you have that taste of the Philly and the seasoning that's perfectly balanced without having to season it yourself. It's always just right. And when I made these pork medallions myself, I always used Philly, but I had to use Philly, I had to use milk, I had to use my own seasonings. It was a lot longer process. So now what I'm going to do is brown them on both sides. Give them just about two minutes on each side. A nice hot skillet gives them that sizzle that you need to seal in the flavors. Now remember, any kind of meat that you can choose can work like this. Just turning them and browning them in the pan. Luigi would say, Mamma Mia! These are some nice pork tenderloin. So I'm going to put these pork pieces at the side because I'm going to take that same pan. This is just so easy. And I'm going to add some of my favorites. Now these pork tenderloin medallions are really good when they've got mushrooms. And that's my favorite. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some onion. I got a medium sized onion. And this onion is going to give a lot of flavor to it without seasoning it. Because Luigi, he's already uh, seasoned. He's already seasoned the cream, the cooking cream. You add onion and anything else that you like. Maybe green pepper. Maybe some other kind of Italian vegetables. I'm going to add those right to the pan with butter. That's right, Paula. She told me one thing, the flavor of butter. So we're going to add to that same pan about half a stick of butter. Those onions. And my favorite with pork medallion, so this is part of my recipe, the sliced mushrooms. Now I've got in here about eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. This is just so fast and easy when you come home from work to put your favorite meats in a pan, your favorite vegetables. And I'm going to saute these slightly until they start to get soft. Maybe a squash. I was thinking maybe like a yellow squash sliced up in there. Whatever you have around. And then as they start to get a little soft in the butter, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth. About half a cup of chicken broth. Take a look at that. 
And as they start to get nice and soft, wow. You want to put those pork medallions back in, juices and all. And this is real easy. We're just going to turn it down and we're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Just long enough that those meat pieces run clear juices. Now remember they're cut into one inch cubes so they're going to cook quickly and they're going to nice and tender and that mushroom and onions going to cook right alongside of it. Wow! This can simmer and cook down. Luigi would be proud! That's it. Back here and boiling some little new potatoes to go underneath of it. So easy. Brown the meat, add the vegetables, a little bit of butter, and now the cooking cream. Philly has done this incredible job with this cooking cream. You can't imagine it until you try it. How easy it is and how great it is. Because now I'm just going to do nothing but add the cooking cream. A 10 ounce tub of this is the Italian cheese and herb to the pork medallions. So we have an Italian base. It's such seasoning. It's incredible. It is so good because you don't have to balance the flavors yourself. You can just mix it in. Look at how amazing this looks. It is so good. If you could smell it now, oh my gosh! That's it. When you're Nana, I've cooked 30 years, over 30 years, and I've used this recipe over 30 years. And I'll tell you what, I have never had it turn out so good. This is my Italian pork medallions. And because it's so inspired, I know in my heart by little chef Luigi, Mamma Mia, it is perfect every time. Luigi's Italian pork medallions with onions and mushrooms. My recipe, only better. With Philadelphia's cooking cream, Italian and cheese. Oh, it's heavenly. You're going to love it because the flavors are balanced just perfectly. The seasonings are balanced just perfectly. I didn't have to do anything to it but cook my meat, my vegetables, and it's done. It's good. <sighs> Easy dishes from Nana's Kitchen.